Okay. I've done everything, right? Yes, I think so. Moving on. Oh. Is there going to be another exam next week before the Christmas break? I don't think so. We just had one. But it's the end of the semester. Shouldn't there be a final? How do we get our grades? Ha! Huh. That's a good thing about magic school. No grades. Oh, sweet. If you're still here and the professors aren't breathing demerits down your back, you're doing fine. Well, <laughs> I'm not having demerits breathed down my back, but I would like to get rid of that minus five. Anyway, I need to set my schedule for the week. Um, okay, so green is the only one. So, you'll do red, green, black, White and study. I'm done. Hmm. Ooh, slash. A sharp blow to, to the target causes focus damage. <clears throat> hmm, stress is getting up there now. Something happened on Wednesday. We are called together in the gym, and I wonder if Virginia was wrong about there not being any more exams. Aww. Good morning, my sprites! As you know, the winter solstice is fast approaching. At the end of next week, many of you will be leaving us for the Christmas holiday. But before that, we have much to celebrate. If you will each please come up here and reach into this bowl for a piece of paper. Okay. That name will tell you who you're a secret Santa for. It will be your job to find a gift for that person which you think suits them. Keep your name secret until after the gifts are delivered next week. I make my way to the stage to draw a name. I will be Santa for Virginia Danson. Hmm. I wonder if Professor Postum is playing fair with these selections. Oh well. Eh. I know her pretty. I'll get her like a a cake or something. <laughs> she likes desserts after all. Open. Unlocks and opens doors or other objects that are designed to open and close. Oh. Okay. Would never have guessed that. Hmm. I wake up early in the morning. If this even counts as morning, it's still dark outside. And I'm not sure why. Was I dreaming? Was there a sound? Was there a reason I needed to get up? And then I remember the date. Oh, it's Friday the 13th. <laughs> Again. Wake everyone up or go back to sleep. Sure, let's annoy the crap out of our roommates. I hop out of bed and switch on the lights. <laughs> Two sleepy heads rise, blinking from their beds. Happy Friday the 13th! Good luck for everyone! There's a moment of silence. I wondered what that thing was. Then I'd have to dodge out of the way the pillow Virginia throws at me. Lucky for you, it missed. What about my luck? It's lucky for you too, because if you'd hit me, I would've had to hit you back. Weirdo. <laughs> I pick up the pillow and toss it back in Virginia's direction, aiming for her lap, not her head. Here, go back to sleep. We can't sleep now, it's time to get up. It is not time to get up. We could get an early breakfast. The cafeteria's not even open. Are you sure? No. Well, I'm going. Whatever. Mm. Do you want to come, cutie? Sure. If the cafeteria is not open yet, then at least I can stretch my legs a bit before class. Early breakfast. On Saturday morning, terribly early to deliver mails. Oh. There's more of it than usual this week. This is the last regular mail day before the holidays. I'll probably have to do a special mail round next Friday as well. Ah, Miss Patuti. Professor! What are you doing here? You're never up this early. Are we finally gonna have that sit down breakfast and tea? What's he doing here so early? I thought the idea of making me do this was so he wouldn't have to. I need to add a notice to all students that outings to the mall today are cancelled. What? 
Why? Take a look outside. I walk to the window and then sigh at the swirling snow. There's quite a lot of it. Too much, apparently, for the school to be willing to take students in a van along narrow mountain roads. We probably could teleport, but I'm not sure how much distance is safe. Not to mention that it would be pretty hard to hide that from normal people when we arrived. If the mall is even open in this weather. But what about Secret Santa? Oh, right. That is not my concern. Good day. Okay. Bye! He leaves me with the new notes to add to my delivery. After I finish my rounds, I return to our room. There's too much snow. Trips to the mall are cancelled for today. But we haven't bought our presents to give! I don't know. Maybe they'll cancel that too. Since I can't go out, what should I do today? I'm going to relax. With nothing else to do, I decide to wander around the school and unwind. Maybe I'll find someone else playing a game and be able to join in. So I walk. Oh. What was that? Who was that? Did somebody just run, run past me into from a window into a, another window? I tilt my head back and listen for the sound of footsteps. That way. Oh. Hi. Oh, Big Steve? I haven't even met you yet. I'm not sure. They, they made it so you can romance this guy too, but... I'm not sure if my will let me do that or not. I will try it at some point. If not, I guess I'll just end up single at the end, but... Anyway, first time meeting Big Steve, everybody. Big Steve is standing in front of Isabel's door. He's not doing anything, just standing there. He shakes his head and takes off running again. What is going on here? I decide to jog along after him. What are you doing? Oh. Chasing! Chasing what? The ball! What ball? I cast a quick true sight spell just, just to be sure, but I don't see anything. Suddenly he bends his knees and tumbles along the hall in a forward somersault, landing in a crouch. He whips his head back and forth, looking both directions, then takes off running again, even faster than before. I speed up and... <laughs> oh no, not again! Sir! <laughs> We gotta stop meeting like this. Miss Patootie, is this going to be a habit of yours? I'm terribly sorry, sir. Um, Big Steve was acting strangely, and he started running through the halls, so I ran after him to try and find out what was going on. I'm gonna get my demerits again, aren't I? Without the foresight to see who else might be in your way. No, sir. I'm sorry, sir. The corridors are not an appropriate appropriate place for horseplay. I bite my lip as my shoulders twitch forward. Horseplay. <laughs> Very funny. Yes, I know. He joked with me again. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. <laughs> okay. Fair is fair. I will have to apply five demerits for risking injury to yourself and others. I understand. However, I will also speak to Mr. Kenyon about setting a bad example. Well, thanks, I guess. I can't be mad at you. That could have gone worse than it did. That's true, he only gave me five demerits. He usually gives me like 10 or 20. <laughs> Maybe I am getting on his good side, finally. Let's read about it in our diary. Secret Santa, I have been assigned to get a secret Christmas present for Virginia. Rise and shine! I woke everyone up early to wish them a happy Friday the 13th. <clears throat> running in circles, I found Big Steve running through the halls for no obvious reason. I chased after him to try and figure out what was going on, but I ran right into Professor Grabner. Yes, again, and got demerits for it. Fewer than last time, though. Well, that was that was worth it, I think. Let's go drink some water quick. <clears throat> I gotta sleep next week. Oh, hi, Professor Potsdam. Hail, choirs of angels! Choirs? 
I suppose it's seasonally appropriate, but still. I know you're all disappointed that this weekend's weather prevented the usual shopping trips. So I've decided on a little change to this year's Secret Santa event. Something to show the triumph of imagination and goodwill over money. Something to use your creative minds and your hands. We're going to make presents? Oh. We're going to make Christmas cards. Close enough. I've brought in construction paper, glue, glitter, crayons, scissors, and a collection of expired magazines. You can cut out pictures of things you think your person would like to have or be. Isn't it the thought that counts? And to help nurture your feelings of creativity and fun, all classes today are canceled, and I'm bringing pizza in for lunch. Enjoy! Thank you. Sounds like great. Aren't we a bit old for collages? Honestly. I suppose it's an okay way to spend a day. Once. Alright, so I need to make a giant card. What color should the backing paper be? Let's see, it's for Virginia. Um, I don't think she'd like purple. How about green? It's also festive. Green is a Christmassy color after all. Then comes the question of, oops. Then comes the question of what to decorate it with. It's for Virginia, so it ought to have. <laughs> no, she likes frogs. Um, hmm. Oh, cake. Absolutely. Lots of cake. Cakes and puddings and pies and all sorts of treats. There should be plenty of pictures of those in holiday magazines. Alright, so I cut out there and put some glue here and sprinkle the glitter there. And half of it ends up on my robe, of course, but that's okay. There's nothing wrong with being sparkly. I am cute. I match my tiara. This is sort of fun. All around me, the gym is filled with witches and wizards busily cutting and pasting. There's going to be such a mess to clean up later. I wonder which of them is making something for me. Hmm. Once all the cards have been made and the pizza's cleared away, it's time to, deli to deliver our creations. I find Virginia and hand her my card. Merry Christmas! She grins at the card and pretends to lick the pictures of food. I am a girl of simple appetites. Simple? Some of those desserts are complicated. Then Ellen approaches me with a card. I knew Potsdam rigged the draw somehow. Merry Christmas! It's a library? It's a chamber of secrets. Books and scrolls and magic and everything that we need to learn because we're wild seed. Thanks. Today I need to decide what I'm doing for the rest of the week since yesterday turned into a crafting party. Um, I'm gonna sleep and then do uh, and then do um, I'll, I'll do green, red, now green. Yes. Yeah, green, red, black, and white. Okay. I'm done. Oh. Oh no, I f did I forget to sleep first? Oh, I'm so stupid. I'm gonna fail. Slash, a sharp blow to the target causes focus damage. <sighs> oh. I thought I was gonna fail for sure. So, the choral concert is tonight. Should we go? Ellen's singing, right? Yeah, but so is Donald. Is it free? Yeah, it's just a school thing, so there's no tickets to buy. Hmm. Well. Maybe it'll lower my stress if I go to the concert. And I should be there to cheer Ellen on, after all. Yeah, we should be there to support Ellen. Okay. The concert is held in the gym. The choral members parade in carrying candles and then stand on the stage holding hands while they sing. They do some Christmas carols, but also plenty of songs I've never heard. 
oh, it actually worked. And afterwards, there are free refreshments, which makes Virginia happy. Of course. On Friday, I get up early to deliver the mail. Most of us will be going home for the holidays tonight, and therefore won't be able to receive it tomorrow. Oh. Good morning, Professor. <laughs> he grunts, not even looking at me, as he removes a package from the pile of mail. Can I help you with something? No. Oh. Sorry. He takes the package and leaves. Someone's a Mr. Bumpy face this morning. I don't have time to wander, though, as I need to get all of this sorted and delivered. I can't believe I'm still learning despite it all. Uh, spirit Echoes. Can reveal impressions left on a target by strong emotions in the past. Okay. Oh, sad music again. And so, my first semester of witchery school comes to a close. Professor Potsdam has called us all together for a final blessing before we go back to our parents for the holidays. Hello, my young students. The tradition of Christmas is one of giving and sharing. Most of you who are returning to your homes will be exchanging gifts and spending time with friends and family. But while you are gone, do not forget who you are. Do not forget all that you share with your brothers and sisters in magic. I have a special gift for you. Oh. A tingle of magic sweeps over us, leaving no visible change in its path. Think of those that you care about. Think of a person who matters to you. If the person you choose is thinking of you as well, you will feel that connection, that affection being shared. I'll leave you to your thoughts. Can I? Think of someone I care about. Parents, Ellen, Richard, Professor Grabner. Oh, please tell me that you're thinking of me too. I know it's foolish, but I think of Professor Grabner. He was the first person I met when I came to this school. Even if that meeting was an embarrassing mistake on my part. He's an important figure in my life, and so I think of him. For a brief moment, I think I feel something. A brief flicker of acknowledgement. So soon snuffed that I suspect I may have imagined it. Was he thinking of me? I just don't know. Aww. Professor Postum climbs back onto the stage and claps her hands. Have a happy Christmas, everyone! We'll see you in two weeks! Well, it's just as well I forgot to sleep anyway, because now my stress is completely gone. Because it's Christmas. Oh, and we're back to school. Back to school at last. I did enjoy the holidays, but lying around the house doing nothing gets boring quickly. And I'm so out of touch with the normal world now that it's hard to find anything else to do. I miss my friends here, and I'm looking forward to seeing them again. Hey, cutie. Welcome back. Hi, guys. How was your holiday? Fine. It was great. Look, I brought back tons of stuff. She points to her bed, which is stacked with candy boxes and tubes of store-bought cookies. That should last me at least a week, right? <sighs> what? Nothing. Come on, what? It's not fair. What's not fair? She eats nothing but bags of junk and sugar, and she's skinny as a twig. I eat healthy food, and I look like... me. Why? The same reason my hair is red, and yours is that yellow color. <laughs> it's called blonde, Virginia. I'm just born that way. I was born this way. <sighs> Ellen blows a strand of loose hair out of her face. I could dye it. It would grow back again. There's nothing wrong with you. You don't have to eat salad all the time. But I like salad. Oh gosh. Then don't worry about it. Good grief, Ellen. Virginia stretches her arms over her head and yawns. <sighs> anyway, I've got stuff to put away, so I'll talk to you guys more later. Don't forget that there's a test at the end of this week. Already? What should I do this week? Uh, just a second, guys. Uh, I need to... See, I think there's somebody at the door. Okay, sorry about that. Had to answer the door. 
Um, okay, so I have no stress, so... Let's see. White is my worst. Okay, we'll start with white. Then we'll take green, black, red, and steady. Done. Ooh. Spirit Echoes can reveal impressions left on the target by strong emotions in the past. Seal. Fixes objects in place or fuses them shut. Okay, what's going on now? The three of us are in our room when someone knocks on the door. <laughs> well, I know that's Donald. Yo, urchin! Virginia looks at the door, then looks at me. If that's Donald with a cream pie, I'm so not opening it. Fine, I'll get it. Yes. Hey, cutie. Is my sister in there? Yeah, she's here. What's up? Logan's doing this thing, and he asks me and Luke to round people up for it. What sort of thing? He's got an idea how people can make money. He's going to run a bingo game. So the more people join, the more you could win. Bingo? That's right. Are you in? It's five bucks to enter. I am not playing any game you're running. I'm not running it. Logan is. I'm not sure that's an improvement. Fine. No money for you, then. Cutie? Um... I'll pass. No thanks. Alright, I'll keep looking. Ooh. Blast. An explosive force causes damage to the target and may knock nearby targets back. Hmm. And I got smarter. Oh no, it's my exam? Already? <laughs> Crap. I report to the room on schedule for my exam. Here we go. To pass this test. You must reach the exit safely. But be warned, you are not alone. Oh, goody. <laughs> I'm just gonna check my spells quick. Um, I guess I can always teleport away or teleport them away or something. Mm. Or fight them, I guess. <sighs> okay. Pat two way. Let's be all breezy breezy. Breeze. I kinda had a feeling it was gonna be this way. Ah! What the heck is that? There's a hodag in this room. Uh, okay. I'm gonna teleport you away, sir. Where is it? Teleport other. Hodag. You teleport Hodag. It's probably gonna chase me though, so I'm gonna try and find my way out of here. Oh, I can't believe I found it on the first try! <laughs> Thank you, panic mode. I climb the stairs and emerge from the dungeon, blinking into sunlight. Congratulations, cutie! For succeeding in your quest, you receive five merits. Oh, that's it. But I need to get rid of the other five. Oh! 
And another five merits for achieving your goal without violence. Yes. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed putting your skills into practice. Now, if you excuse me, I have another student to look after. I guess I can go relax now. Whew. Saturday morning, terribly early, is waking up to deliver mails. What should I do? Um, I shall study. Library is fairly quiet, but familiar faces are still present. Study with Minnie. Minnie tries to help me with my white magic, but she seems a little distracted. Oh, but I still, uh, increase my white magic skill. Hmm. Today is the first spro- eh. Let's start that sentence over again. Today is the first sports club meeting of the spring semester. We're playing soccer, but with a twist. You can move the ball by kicking with your foot, or you can push it with your mind, since it's an easy spell that almost everyone can do. Only single sharp pushes allowed, no controlling the ball for the upperclassmen. But if you use magic, you need line of sight on the ball, and you have to hold still while casting. That means if people who don't have the ball run around wildly enough, they can disrupt anyone trying to move the ball by magic. It makes the game more frantic and paranoid, because you have to watch everybody, not just the people near the ball. It's also a powerful increase for the goalie, who can easily stand still for a moment to change the ball's direction, even from halfway across the room, if it's not guarded well. Getting past that into the net is no easy task. Everyone seems to be having a good time. Except Kyo. He's still playing the game, he just doesn't look happy about it. <laughs> when we finish for the day, he skulks off before I can ask him what the matter is. Wee, that was great, wasn't it? It's good to be back. So, you're not upset anymore about the sports and magic thing? Yeah, it's all good. Cool. Well, that's good. And that week is over. Uh, no bingo. Apparently, Logan is running some kind of cash bingo, but I didn't join. Um, exam success. I made it out of the dungeon and received 10 merits for passing my exam. Oh, yes, thank you all. Minnie helped me... And push push soccer. We had a sports club meeting and played a game of soccer with the rules adjusted to use a little bit of magic. It really changes the strategy of the game. Uh, well, I hope we, uh. I hope next week has a little more in store for us. 